Now, drinking water laced with toxins could be unknowingly impacting thousands of North Georgia families. Well, we're talking about PFAS or forever chemicals. Those have been linked to cancer, low birth weights, and high blood pressure, too. Take a look at this map. All those dots you see show water treatment plants that have tested positive for forever chemicals. And under the new limits being considered by the EPA, these plants would be over the safety limit. Investigative reporter Andy Parati is live on a river in Rome, 70 miles northwest of Atlanta, where the state discovered high levels of these chemicals years ago. So, Andy, the city took action, but some residents want more done, right? Yeah, that's right, guys. We are on the Ustanala River, and while it looks like the perfect place to be in a hot summer afternoon, state and city officials say it's been unsafe for years. Now, residents want to know whether drinking using this river for its drinking water for decades has impacted their health. We traveled hundreds of miles in search for answers. Thank you, babe. Buckled. Callie Swafford takes us on the road near the North Georgia mountains in search of an essential resource, clean water. It's just what we've had to do and what we feel is like our, our best option. It's a 20 minute drive from her home outside Rome, Georgia in her minivan. You ready, baby girl? Uh -huh. Let's go. A routine Callie says is necessary to ensure her family's drinking water is safe after the state discovered high levels of a cancer-causing toxin in a river Rome used for its drinking water eight years ago. It feels very third world, um, especially like I said when my daughter was a baby and I would have her strapped to my back and I'm 20 minutes away collecting water so that we can feel safer. To respond to the contamination, the city shut down its primary water intake facility in 2016 using another river for its water. It's also building a new multi-million dollar plant that will eventually remove the toxin. The chemical of concern, perfluoralkyl, or PFAS for short, used by carpet manufacturers upstream and deposited into the Ustanala River for decades, linked to high blood pressure, cancer, and birth defects. We don't know the complete like scope of how this will affect our bodies, how it will affect our babies. I just want to know. I just want to know, like, is there as much cause for concern as what is being presented? To find out. Looking at 54 minutes of flying time. Atlanta News First traveled hundreds of miles to a North Carolina city that uncovered a similar problem in its water in 2017. Pleasure to welcome you to Wilmington. We have a local time of 1121. And how it took action could serve as a roadmap to how Georgia might respond. This is the Cape Fear River. It provides drinking water to the city of Wilmington and other communities. And just like the city of Rome, its source of contamination is upstream, linked to a company that dumped PFAS into its water for decades. Families and experts are still trying to figure out the impact of chemicals, including one group of chemicals known as PFOS. The levels in our drinking water are higher than the new minimum goal. Quite frankly, I'm sick and tired of, of quietness and silence. Everybody deserves a right to know what's going on. So this is the Northeast Cape Fear. Kim Burdett is head of the Cape Fear River Watch, an environmental watchdog group. Over 500,000 people were, were all impacted. They all found out on the same day that their drinking water supply was contaminated. It was contaminated by a toxic, dangerous compound and that there was nothing we could do about it. To measure the impact, Burdett and hundreds of Wilmington area residents took part in a study conducted by North Carolina State University to test their blood for the toxin. The results, it detected PFAS in almost everyone who participated, no matter where they lived. Burdett's blood among the most contaminated in the entire study. It's certainly shocking and certainly kind of terrifying. Sanjay Bedish is Kim's doctor. Which is alarming because it indicates that he is at much higher risk of certain medical conditions. So we worry about hypertension, we worry about kidney cancer, renal cancer, testicular cancer. Dr. Bittish's blood results also revealed high levels of PFOS. While concerned, he says the results arm him and his patients with important information on how to respond 
including increased medical screenings to catch potential illnesses early. Without that information, without the blood testing and urine testing to see what individual uh, levels are, you're just sort of driving blind. Kim's results hit close to home. His father died from kidney cancer last year, a disease directly linked to the toxin. Both drank Wilmington's water laced with PFOS for years. Do you feel like you have this ticking time bomb in your body and you don't know whether it's going to go off or not? Yeah, that, that is a, a very good description, a ticking time bomb. So every time I get a weird sensation, every time I don't feel great, and always in the back of my mind, I'm going, well, you know, maybe that's kidney cancer or maybe that's testicular cancer. Back in Rome, Georgia, Callie wants a similar study conducted here. And then, she okay. believes she and her neighbor's blood are already contaminated, but she won't be getting help from this state. The Georgia Department of Public Health telling us it does not have plans at this time to conduct testing in affected areas. This is like one of our favorite spots, isn't it? Residents looking for answers to learn how years of ingesting contaminated water may have impacted them in future generations. I think that calls for a health emergency, 100%. Back here live on the Ustanala River in Rome, Georgia, and while the CDC says that most of us have some levels of PFOS in our blood, researchers still recommend getting your blood tested if you know you've been exposed to high levels of PFOS, just like Rome residents, uh, Georgia, Georgians have. And that includes the head of the Environmental Sciences Department at the University of Georgia. Live on the Usanala River, Andy Parati, Atlanta News First. I'm sure there are a lot of people right now that have a lot to think about because of that reporting. Andy, thank you.